So now we get to go over Blake Brandle. Um, he is a offensive tackle from Oregon State. And this is the first one I'm going over that doesn't have uh, any measurements, really. So what um, NFL.com has on like their little combine thing, they say he's 6'7", 307. So I'm going to roll with that. Now, I do think he has some smart footwork in some of his initial steps. Um, angles to get to the second level are really nice, which is probably one reason why Minnesota really wanted him in these zone running schemes. You see a lot of, uh, you know, moving to the second level just because it's, well, you go over here, you kind of shift here, and if you're, it's mostly for the uncovered guys, but you end up shifting to the linebacker at the second level. I thought he did that really, really well. Um, he kind of will flash and hide hands, to kind of mess with pass rushers a little bit, kind of get them thinking one thing, less of a different thing. Um, so we can kind of fool them a little bit. Um, he will run his feet through contact. You see that drive. Um, and he really does get through targets and just gets vertical through those backside zone blocks, which is one reason, going back to that other thing, Minnesota loved probably when watching him, just because you do indeed see a lot of zone skills that you like here and I think he really does have a um, kind of a, a knack for just fighting for that early positioning and that's really really nice to see so um, I, I think uh, we do have some issues here obviously like some people think he's a guard. I don't think he can, just because you're looking at a pretty thin frame. I don't think he really has the density or the core strength to be a guard, and I don't really think. Uh, and I think that shows up because he can really get pushed into the pocket, and that's not good. He can kind of be put on skates if he's put against a. Uh, stronger bigger guy and if you put him on the inside obviously you're going to see a lot more stronger bigger more dense human beings and i think uh the balance is a little wonky um kind of leaning too far forward um and then uh you also have uh like some of the base things in pass protection it's a little narrow and the athleticism isn't high quality here so he kind of has to win with technique, and when you aren't overly athletic and you aren't overly strong, but you're super tall, so you kind of lose leverage a little bit just by default, it really, really limits what you can do at the next level. And he, for what it's worth, he has been a very durable lineman throughout his career at Oregon State, but he's a guy who people want to move inside that... I'm not entirely sure why, just because he lacks a lot of those guard traits. Um, but as long as he continues to work at being a technician and kind of just get stronger, I think we could see a player that uh, could potentially push Rashad Hill. I don't know about this year, but maybe next year they move on from Rashad Hill for uh, Brendel here. And... That could be a thing because if he, like I said, continues to work on that, he has some natural zone things, although not the most athletic guy, does take proper angles. And I think this is a swing tackle at best. Um, it's a depth move. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it, but it's a, it's a move nonetheless to help improve this line. And this is a, I think he's kind of a practice squad candidate early unless he can prove his worth over Rashad Hill that fast, which I do doubt just because, you know, given circumstances, we're not sure if we're going to be given a training camp or a preseason. So we'll see what it goes into. Um, I would like to know your guys' comments down below. Um, like and subscribing. Helpful. Until next time, I bid y'all.